Hello children! So in this activity we are going to write our very own magic recipe for a magic spell. Wow! So on the website you'll be able to print out your very own sheet to record. So you can get your grown-ups to help you with this and you can draw pictures to go with your recipe as well. So I've got from Douglas's trousers some of the magic things that he found in his granddad's loft. Should we have a look what we've got in here? So this bag says, can you read it with me? It says flying spell. Wow, so I think we might find the ingredients in this bag. Should we have a look? What have we got in here? Oh, we've got a bag full of feathers. Look at this. Lots of different coloured feathers that I think Douglas's granddad found out on his adventures, didn't he? Some of them have fallen off different birds. There's lots of different colours. There's some bright feathers in there, brown ones, red ones, purple ones, green ones. So we've got some feathers, we'll pop those there. And then what else have we got? We have got, ooh, what's this? <gasps> Looks like some pepper in a little pot. A pepper pot. Ooh, interesting. Oh my goodness, we've got some eggshell in here. Lots of old eggshell all cracked up in there in a special jar. And then we have, potion children. Look at this. It's got some glittery bits inside and it says on the front flying spell. Wow. Our very own magic flying spell potion. Ooh. There's something in here that's written down as well. We have a read what it says. Oh, it's the flying spell. All the ingredients that we need. Are you ready? Let's find out. Fabulous fluffy feathers got those haven't we edible empty eggshell Ooh, some eggshell in there seasoned oh savory salt now i've got pepper here is there salt in here too maybe i've missed it Ooh. ah there's some salt in here as well let's have a look oh yes there's some salt in there put that down seasoned savory salt and then oh, picked pepper pods why we needed the pepper and the salt so it all goes into the magic spell wow so that's the flying spell douglas that is amazing that you found in your granddad's loft wow we've got another one here as well children would you like to have a look what's in this one mm. so we've got the flying spell but this one is a different spell it's called the swimming underwater spell so should we see what ingredients we might need for this one let's just make a little bit of space and let's have a look at what we've got in this bag Oh wow, so it says on here, I wonder if you can guess what's in there, in that little jar, it says sand on the front, of course, so being under the water and swimming underwater, if you're especially at the seaside you'll definitely have sand on the bottom won't you, of the, of the water. what else have we got here, oh wow, we've got some shells in there, look, amazing, oh some beautiful colours in there as well, and we've got Ooh, what's this? It's dried seaweed in there. So somebody's been to the seaside and dried all the seaweed out and ground it down to put in a special jar. Amazing. So Douglas, you can look after that one. And then we've got some here. Ooh, of course, we've got some seawater. Wow, I love this. All these ingredients are amazing, aren't they? to make your swimming under the water spell. Wow. And then I think, children, we found the magic potion inside. <gasps> Look at all that magic in there. Amazing. And it says the swimming under the water spell. Wow. <laughs> Should we see what the ingredients say to make the spell? Are we ready? Here we are. <laughs> we need some salty seawater. Well, we've got that, haven't we? We need six shiny shells, amazing. Smooth, soft sand, lovely. And some slimy, squishy seaweed. Well, this is dried seaweed, so if you put some water with it, I'm sure it'd go all slimy and squishy, wouldn't it? So have a think, children. What spell would you like to make? So Douglas had a flying spell. I've thought of another one for a swimming under the water spell. I wonder what you might like to do. And if you notice in the spells, 
we've actually used some words to go with each ingredient to describe them. So we had some salty seawater. So you can, you can you hear that? It starts with the same sound. And then we had six shiny shells. So you've got the sh, sh sound. And then smooth, soft sand. So you've got that s, s, s sound again. And slimy, squishy seaweed. It's a lot of s, s, s sounds, isn't it? Amazing. Have a think, if you were going to make a flying spell, what do you think you would put into that? And you can write that down with all your ideas on this special sheet that you can print out on the website. And we would love to hear what you come up with. I cannot wait to see your amazing recipes and all of your wonderful ideas.